Okay. I'm dead. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're Philly and Keely, and after nearly two and a half years of taking our van halfway across this world, we're finally back in Ireland. You know where the castle is? <laughs> wow, we. Wow. I'm friggin' loving this. So far, Ireland has given us nude beaches, stunning views on the wild Atlantic Way, and in today's video, we're going to be exploring a beautiful magic forest and attempting to hike Ireland's highest mountain. Let's go. So in today's video, we're bringing you guys around the Ring of Kerry, which is meant to be one of the most beautiful places in Ireland. Oh my heavenly mercy. Oh, so beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah, we drove quite a long distance yesterday. So we joined the Ring of Kerry and we drove the whole way down to the tip of this peninsula. And the views were absolutely stunning. It actually felt like we're in Canada or New Zealand or something like that at some point. And we've made it down to a little island type thing that we can drive onto called Valencia. And we found a park up in a slate quarry right at the tip. We got to watch the sunset last night. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. Yeah. So we're excited to bring you guys along today. We're going to explore it some more and just enjoy this place. But enough waffling. Let's go show you around. Yeah. So if you've seen the last week's video, we set ourselves the challenge to do this with only a paper map. So no Google Maps, no internet, and we're still doing that. Yeah, we are. And it's actually worked out so far pretty good. We're finding all our park ups ourselves as well. Mm -hmm. It's nice just to wing it and being a bit off the grid and yeah, having to use your noggin. So yesterday we drove all the way down here. We stopped at a place called Bally Carby Castle or something because we've seen it on the map. Um, so it was a really cool old place. Guys, look at this. Closed, private property, private road, no walking. We'll take the drone up and look at this bad boy. And then now we've driven all the way. Am I pointing? I can't actually see. Yeah, I don't know here. what you're pointing at. Am I pointing to here? I think we're somewhere down here. We're right at the tip of this little peninsula. So we're going to bring you guys along as we explore the end of this, go back up, and hopefully make ourselves around somewhere over here. I don't know what I'm pointing at, but I'm hoping I'm pointing at something. We have a plan in this video. We want to climb the highest mountain in Ireland. How do you feel about that? I, I don't know, I, I, that, that, that caught me off guard even though I know we'd said we were doing it now we're like really doing it because you've just said it in video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's hit the road. Maximize laziness. This is nuts. Friggin' Ireland, you are beautiful. So we pulled in in a nice sunny day. Had some lunch. Got some food and then got out of the van. And it's a bit a bit more of the the typical Irish weather seems to be coming back. I'm hoping it's just gonna like get it out of its system and then be sunny again. I'm not hiking if it's in the rain for seven hours. Let me see, let me see your hiking your hiking stretches. Oh no, these jeans are too tight. Don't do that, that's silly. Anyway, look how moody and beautiful it is here. What have you got? What is that? A giant piece of wibbly seaweed. I just felt like picking it up. Oh, no. <laughs> what have you found? It looks so cool. <laughs> Here's the, the river jump of the century. This that like your feet thing. That would be a mistake. Oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> Lisa, you try. Okay, ready? Did it work? No. <laughs> <laughs>
I just wanted to say, I lost Billy. I went into that castle and then two other people came and found me. And when I looked back, Billy was gone. And then I just walked the whole loop around the castle trying to find him. And then he just goes, hello? Look where he is. <sighs> what a glipe. Oh my goodness, that does look like humongous rhubarb. So weird. Look at this. Look at the size of these leaves. This is me for scale. <laughs> Gotta go. So we are in an area down in this little peninsula called Derry Nain. And I had heard that in Derry Nain there are fairy walks. So like the big child I am, I've asked this guy if we can go and check out these fairy walks and... The one you know. time we do decide to get out of the van, it starts to rain. I know, but it wouldn't be Ireland. So if you come to Ireland, this is the weather that you should expect. If you get sun, then... You're lucky. Yeah. Now look at the size of those leaves. These are massive and they feel like material. Oh! Wow. I, I was going to say I could make a dress out of that. No, I always said I could make Sinead a dress eat your heart out. When we're in like lush gardens like this, it just really makes me think of my granny's house because she used to have so many plants and was like totally obsessed with all the different seasons and flowers and everything. And it just gets me excited for one day when we have our own plot of land and we can like know what all the plants are and be really excited about them. And I just love it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh even the leaves feel spiky on the bottom. They are spiky, Philly. They're thorny. What a rascal. This is crazy. This is Holy. Like my body in a leaf. Should we be looking for fairies? Somebody should tell Kitty that fairies don't exist. Fairies aren't real. This is like Aztec zone and Crystal Mia's. Come into my little Irish garden. I saw bluebells. So beautiful. Peekaboo. Vlogging. How are you feeling for this mountain tomorrow? I'm not good about the mountain, but guys. We can't find any fairy houses and this is a trail that's made for kids and we can't find any so I'm like we're obviously not in the right place. Did you look at a map? No, and we've, got <laughs> well. no we've got no internet with us. I thought it'd be quite self-explanatory but this is what we're learning about this whole thing. Stuff that's meant to be self-explanatory turns out we're not good at it. Let's go. Because we're idiots. Turn around for two minutes and this is what I come back to. I know, but it looks cool. I'm like the slate and the mossiness. Like this if I was a new kid, tiny home. which I'm obviously a big kid, I would just play in there all the time. Cool story, bro. <laughs> See ya. There's a lot of bee life here, which is excellent for the environment, but not good for my mental state. <laughs> Oh my word, I've just seen my first actual fairy house. Obviously, apart from the fairies themselves, but I'm wondering who actually helped the fairies make their houses. I'm excited. Peter Pan. Look, they're hanging out their laundry. They've got a wee swimsuit hanging out on the line. They're everywhere. <laughs> I'm so excited she has to see fair, little fairy houses. <laughs> well. Guys, this is epic. Look at this tree. All of this stuff here is just so magical, isn't it? I genuinely feel like this is the type of thing you'd see in like a kid's movie or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, where I'm going to go through this tree and then it's going to come to life and start talking to me. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Who goes under my tree? It's me! Be my friend! <laughs> you missed this. Hidden in the tree. 
little kooky doing? That's so cute. Gary Nien is friggin' awesome. <laughs> One last ferry house for the road. So, as much as we would love to stay here and continue to get lost, we do need to hit the road because we need to get to the shop and stock up on supplies for going on this hike tomorrow. You can't wait. Uh... Not only a hike, guys, you know it's the tallest mountain in Ireland. I'll pop up the meterage right here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's no easy task, right? I'm not looking forward to it at all. Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. Just say what you just said. What? That was rude. <laughs> That's the truth. What was it? So we're, we're talking about our hike tomorrow. Hiking with you is just miserable because <laughs> all you do is whinge and moan. That's so rude. Is it though? Parent Two Hill is a very challenging climb and apparently dozens of people have to get rescued from Karen Two Hill every year. And I was like, this is gonna be me. I'm gonna be so terrible. No, you're not. Really. And then you said I was. I was expecting motivation and confidence. Come on, Keely, you've got this. You're stronger than you know. Instead, I got, you're really boring to hike with because you go so slow and all you do is wind. <laughs> this landscape is beautiful. Hop out there and just take a look. I'm doing enough walking tomorrow for crying out loud. Oh, oh my god, he's such a dick. <laughs> he is such a dick. <laughs> Think you're funny, yeah? <laughs> I really hope we're not one of the dozens that have to get rescued from this mountain. Not that tall. Not that tall. We got this. this is a, it's going to be a breeze. As long as I have loads of snacks. I'll give you six tickets and you're allowed to moan six times. Oh, I thought you and were just going to say moan. I'm allowed to like, I'm allowed to get a snack, I'm allowed to stop break. Like I get six requested snack breaks. Okay, we can do that. That could be fun. Okay, let's do that. So okay, I'm so allowed no to stop moan. six times. Six? That's fair. It's a six hour oh, hike. Oh, my ears. Once an hour. I'm not asking much here. Okay, yeah. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We stop for a cup of tea. Guys, look what time it is. Ten past ten. Flipping heck. That took some time to make sandwiches, but also I needed my second coffee and I needed to reply to all our lovely comments. <laughs> I just love talking to people. Like, I've replied to every comment we've ever had, unless YouTube's deleted it. So if you want to say random stuff and talk to us down in the comments, you know, feel free. Anyway, we need to go. I wanted to leave, like, before 9 o'clock, but Kaylee needed her second coffee. Let's go. And, like, oh, uh, you're an idiot. I know. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm scared. Uh, where do we go? Apparently, hill this way. As opposed to the other car park, this place is like a proper establishment. Okay. Got toilets, got tea rooms. Loads of picnic benches down at the bottom. Yeah, proper setup. Oh my word, look at the little lambs. Hello. Oh, look at the way that we teal for the feet. Their tails like wiggle loads like a dog. There's a donkey here. They're trying to wake it up. Do you think he's like, oh you, stop being an ass? <laughs> oh. Oh, look at them, so cute. I don't think I've ever seen a donkey do that. Have you? No. Animals are so great, aren't they? Hey, buddy. You're cute. Hey, yeah. Did you just fall out of your mummy? Literally looks like it, doesn't it? Hey, yeah. Oh, bless you. We can let them be. My heart. Because we have a mountain to climb. I know, we're, we're like, just animals are just the best. <laughs> we're literally procrastinating when we have to go up there. Are you not feeling fresh? Are you feeling ener energized? I made you cards this morning. I'm feeling something. <laughs> I'm gonna just enjoy the nature and hope I don't pull numerous muscles. No, we didn't even stretch. Nope. What a bunch of dum dums. Dum dum is an
Keely was a bit freaked out that we were going the wrong way. It seems to be well signposted. You're not going to get lost here. It's so beautiful. Yeah. These views are incredible. Mm -hmm. How come the closer we walk, the farther it looks away? I know, so true. I feel like we've been walking towards it for, for ages. <laughs> oh, I'm scared, man. It's cool. It looks like a beast. So we've been on the track for an hour. We've reached this lake. It looks cool, it looks cold. It looks Baltic. We're just saying that we think the Devil's Ladder, from what I read, is it's one of the most vertical ones and very loose underfoot. And I think it might be that thing there. And then once we get up there, we have to still keep hiking all the way over there. We're not even at the bottom yet. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm and scared. you haven't even had one of your six breaks. So if you've missed it earlier in the video, I get six required breaks. So. Number one's coming soon, I can tell. <laughs> Philip, you idiot. Hi. My right, chum. Just a bite. Oh Lord, look at it. Hello, drone. Hello, hello. I have regrets. <laughs> so we're almost two hours in, and now we have made it to pretty much the, the start of the climb. Yeah, the actual start of the hard bits. <laughs> oh, guys. I'm regretting my decisions right now. My calves are already burning. <laughs> I want to make it at least halfway up here. Taking the hard way. Hard mode activated. Just taking the mode. Definitely a little bit trickier than the first bit, isn't it? Yeah. <sighs> Doing good. <laughs> Not dead. Yet. <sighs> I'm going good though. I'm still going, aren't I? Want to? Still going, aren't I? Look at this. <sighs> My first break, I've called it. So, energized up a little bit. I'm still hungry, not gonna lie, but I'm, I'm gonna savor the other half up at the top and then the other full sandwich over there. That's my plan. Tomorrow. Okay, right, we're going, we're going. That was only like a five minute stop. He's exaggerating. Let's go. Have a break again? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I want one already, but I'm gonna keep going. Definitely. Suitably named Devil's Ladder. Is that a hopping and puffing going on? Yeah. <laughs> Onwards. Guys, I'm dead. It's actually tough. It is. It's actually tough. Look how far we've come. So we've came from way down there. Epic view, yeah? Let's keep going. Look at those guns. Yeah. Put them away. Have you got a holster for those? <laughs> Have you got a license? Are you a uh, hiker um, now? No. Could we call you a hiker? No. I don't know, you've done the highest mountain in Northern Ireland, you've done the highest mountain, well, almost, in Ireland. I'm not gonna lie, when I get to the top, I just resent the views for making me go through that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You said this view isn't worth it. Look at this. I'm just saying, could have took the drone up and seen that. <laughs> okay, I'll give you that. People are into hiking for different reasons. I'm not into it, but I want to prove myself that I can do it, so let's go. Oh, I'm stiff. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're getting too old for this. Me too. It's happening. I feel like we're on the final rung of the devil's ladder. <laughs> the air is pretty thin up here. Oh, shit. I might get my oxygen <laughs> tank out. <laughs> People zigzagging up here. Then they just walk up here. And they're at the top. Yay. We'll just keep banging sandwiches into Keely until she reaches the top. In sub one hour. Hopefully. Sub one hour? Yeah. Like Optimistic. We're going to be at the highest point in all of Ireland and Northern Ireland. This whole island, the whole Emerald Isle. Us and whoever else is up there will be the highest people on the whole island at that moment. We'll just like, we'll just climb over the top of them, <laughs> so then we'll be higher than them. <laughs> so how awesome is that? How do you feel about this? Have you processed this information? Uh, not really. Really? 
I found it cooler than you. No, that is pretty cool. At the top of a mountain, when I grew up, the thing you had at the top of a mountain was hot soup. And when we were married, and the first time we went up a mountain or whatever, and I said about bringing hot soup, he thought I was insane. Like this was the weirdest thing ever. Who would drink hot soup at the top of a mountain? I mean like a cup of tea, a Mars bar and a, an apple. I need, I need to know. What did other what do other people like have at the top of mountains? Do you have hot soup or do you think that is weird? Please let us know. We'll see you at the top. I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought that bit down there was gonna be the hard bit. But for me this this bit feels much harder. Mentally for me. I'm not enjoying this part. Let's keep going. I'm loving this. Maybe up high. You okay? to have the opportunity to do it and to have the health and fitness to do it but that doesn't mean that I enjoy it. <laughs> Look at this kid, trying her hardest. What type of sickos find joy in this? <laughs> Come on, you gotta admit that feels good. The achievement feels good and everything else feels like lead. <laughs> We all knew Philly would do it, but that was brutal. You didn't win. Thanks, Pat. Sandwich? <laughs> Sandwich. <laughs> because I've touched it. <laughs> Let's go get a cup of tea. <laughs> Where's the coffee shop? I've got some feeling back in my legs, so that's pretty good. Yeah, you seem in good spirits. I'm really proud of you. I'm proud of myself that I did it. I'm just so bloody glad it's over. Well, now I have to go all the way back down, but um, I'm proud of myself that I did it. And uh, one tip for anyone else that's doing it is even if it's super sunny outside, just throw some gloves in your bag because it is absolutely Baltic up here. So, it's a bit windy, a bit cold, can't really be bothered walking down, so we'll see you back at the van. Let's go. One, One two, two, three. <sighs> Man, that was so much easier. No, it wasn't. Guys, remember we joked and said it's impossible to get lost here. You're not going to get lost here. We got lost on the way down, ended up on the ridge of another mountain. Now we're both absolutely dead. You know, it was all uh, a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> But we're back and we need a cup of bloody tea. Yeah, let's get a cup of tea and a biscuit. Ah, <sighs> cheers. We made it. 1041 meters, Ireland's tallest mountain. Uh, it took us roughly about six hours. I'm impressed with that. I'm chuffed. I'm so proud. Let me just say, I am so proud of you. Thanks. Not because I didn't think you could do it, I'm just like. Yeah, you only took three breaks and they're only like less than five minutes each time. <laughs> yeah, literally on the way down I was like, I just need this to be over. Because on the way up, you know, you have got that achievement. You can't wait to like be like, yeah, I made it to the top. That whole way back down, it was like, I'm getting nothing from this. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for joining us on that, guys. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Cheers. <laughs> Beautiful Irish dancing song. Ha, ha, ha.